We're positioned here at the toe of the Athabasca Glacier here in the Canadian Rockies, and there's really some a uh, lot of interesting processes happening right here. Stephanie, do you want to describe uh, what's going on around us here? Yeah, what we're standing on right now is called basal till, and it's sediment that is deposited by the glacier, but it's different from the ablation till that we've seen. The difference is that the ablation till has traveled on the glacier, whereas this basal till has been plastered under the sheet of ice. And that creates some small differences. Uh, Texture-wise, the basal till has the mix of textures that we've seen in the ablation till, ranging from clay to stones, but there tends to be more fine particles. And the glacier can actually grind down particles and fracture rocks. In the structure side of things, the basal till is way more compacted than the ablation till. And that is because of the weight of the sheet of ice that rides over it. It creates this really compact layer of sediment. Later on, when this becomes a print material for soil, it can create problems with water drainage. Right, and these uh, stones that we see here in the uh, in this basal till also can create a problem for soils later on for uh, management and so on. That's right, it's still very coarse texture, very rocky. Uh, these stones are really common in basal till. They tend to be angular to sub-rounded. They can actually scratch the bedrock when the glacier is coming over a hump of bedrock. They can make striation marks in the bedrock. And these striation marks are an indicator of which way the ice was moving, even centuries after the glacier has retreated. So that's a really interesting marker of glaciation. That's uh, quite useful in terms of understanding the um uh, glaciation and, and uh, its impacts. Uh, let's then move forward a bit and talk about soil forming processes and the effects of these materials as parent materials for soils. There's good sides and bad sides to till as the parent material for soil. One of the good sides is that it has a range of particle size. It has large particles such as gravel and sand that will promote good drainage. It also has smaller particles like silt and clay that will promote good water retention. One of the problems that we might have with till, though, is that it can be very compacted and it can restrict water movement. And if that happens, that can be, it can slow down soil formation processes and it can impede crop growth as well.